the residents who would come into the Vista would age in place in a number of ways. Um, they may age in place and the Vista may be the only or the last residence they have in their life. Not necess it's not necessary that every resident will age in place out of the Vista into another level of care. Some of them might very well age in place into um, the Longview, our assisted living residence. Some of them may age in place uh, into Heritage Manor, our nursing home. They'll do that at a gradual, that gradual pace, at, at not all at one point in time, but over some time, some of them may very well need that level of care. What we are experiencing right now in our assisted living residence and in our nursing home is that we have seen over the last several years that the average length of stay for those who stay in those facilities is decreasing rapidly. So that where several years ago, we often had extensive waiting lists for those uh, programs. There are often periods of time where we have openings um, in the nursing home or in the assisted living residence that we're working with our admission staff to feel. So we are very comfortable that between the services that are able to be provided in the VISTA to enable them to age in place and potentially for the majority of them for that to be their, their last residence. Um, coupled with what the other services that we have, the 254 um, nursing home beds that we have, plus the 95 um, assisted living residence beds that we have, um, that, that that is more than enough to safely accommodate um, those who are moving from the VISTA into those levels of care, as well as those who may very well from uh, Evergreen Court or Hillcrest, which are other residences that we already have on campus at some time, some time move up. So we're very comfortable that we can accommodate that.